Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Assay of JonathanAssay.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, what to, what to know when a guy says he's confused or if he's giving mixed signals. Really quickly, these are my weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery, where you can have direct access to me ask me personal questions uh, for yourself. And three times a week, I shoot videos in the group. Um, also, we host a once a month webinar where it's a live Q&A. All right, and check out the link below to my VIP group. All right, we're gonna talk about when a guy is, says he's confused or he starts giving mixed signals. And I, these are my weekend videos because they're more personalized. And in this particular case, I want to share my own personal experience because I have been that guy. I I'm probably am still that guy. So what does it mean when a guy says he's confused? And what do mixed signals mean? Well, first off, you know, on one level, let's think about it. Confusion. What, what represents confusion is uncertainty. In other words, and, and what it feels like, it's uncertainty about you, but it may not be just about you. You have to look at the totality of a relationship. Now, depending on which stage you are, is this in the first couple, three or four weeks of dating where someone says they're confused or someone you're in a seasoned relationship where you're confused? By the way, my t-shirt says I've got your back and you can see this is a back missing and he's holding the back and my cup today says stay grounded, which is ideal for this conversation. Mm. Okay, so what is confusion? Well, it's uncertainty. In other words, there, there could be a vast things that cause uncertainty both within the relationship and within someone's life. Oftentimes when you examine what happens when someone is giving mixed signals or they say that they're confused is that there's probably a lot of things going on in his or her life that creates a weak foundation in their life. Maybe they're going through troubles at work. Maybe they're going through health issues. Maybe they have a contentious ex-spouse. Maybe they have parents in elderly care that's um, one parent might be you know, on their deathbed. Maybe they have issues with their children. If the foundation is weak, it makes everything else very, um, can be very emotionally draining or emotionally uh, weighted, okay? In other words, it feels like a weight. So what happens is they might have confusion about the relationship because their foundation is weak, okay? This happens frequently frequently, frequently for those in midlife. In fact, the vast majority of men and women are experiencing a weak foundation in their life. Now, in, in many cases, it could be also past traumas that cause this weak foundation or their childhood wounds and traumas. This is why I'm such a big proponent, let me pull out this book, of reading the book, The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process, to understand childhood wounds and traumas because oftentimes their weak foundation is because they're lacking truly loving on themselves. This is why after I did the Hoffman process, literally within one year, I started writing my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the heck is self-love anyway? Have you ordered the book? Check out the link below. I, I mention this because it's a, it's a journey of personal development, self-help and spiritual work. I gotta turn off my phone. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize it was on. It was a, it's a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work as a vaccination to emotional chaos, as a vaccination to emotional chaos. And adult traumas can be significantly way on the foundation. Okay, so in some ways, when someone says they're confused, that just merely means they have to come back within themselves to gain clarity. What I'm also here to say is there can be confusion around the relationship. And this is why I'm such a big proponent of women taking charge of their relationship destiny, not to leaving it up to the man. And what I'm here to say is you are the emotional leaders of the relationship, or at least, and what I mean by emotional leaders of the relationship, you lead by example, lead by example. So how do we create less confusion in the relationship and mo more coherency that eventually can lead to this, I've got your back, I definitely want you to check out the book by Barbara DeAngelis. I love this book. How to Make Love All the Time. 
how to make love all the time. Why I want you to read this is so you can understand the mechanics of really creating intimacy in a relationship, how to create intimacy. Because when there's genuine vulnerability, authenticity, and transparency, there's less confusion in the relationship. Now, this isn't something you're gonna to wanna to do in the first, second, third, fourth week of dating, but something, if for those seasoned relationships, I want you to be prepared and to be, actually you wanna begin the process very early on, first by reading it and then leading by example. Now, some of you might be saying, well, that's me being in my masculine energy and trying to control things. No, you lead by example is merely stating, these are my standards in relationship, are you open to being at this standard? So you want to begin this foundation of your relationship solid very early on. So if there's a weakness going on the balance of someone's life, there's at least something to hold on to because they'll have your back because you've established authenticity, vulnerability, and transparency early on. And when you've done that, they become bonded to you. A person can become bonded to you and lean on you when those tough times are going on. But if there's no real bond between the two of you and the foundation in someone's life is weak, it's going to create confusion, mixed signals, and a lot of frustration in a relationship. And I want you to shift that narrative for yourself right now by beginning this work. I also want to talk to you about one more book that I think is critically important. I don't actually have the book, I have the CD. It's Return to Love by Marianne Williamson, Return to Love. I highly recommend reading this and listening to it because it's a fantastic book to return to your center, to return to your inner peace, to return to your self-love. Because when we are loving on ourselves, when someone gives us mixed signals or confused, we feel solid in our ground too. And if it's the right relationship, you'll have their back. If it's the wrong relationship, might mean to move on, okay? Just because someone says they're confused doesn't mean it's the wrong relationship, and yet it still could be. I mean, it, it may be a, the right relationship or it may be the wrong relationship. What's most important is the relationship with yourself, and that's the relationship you, that matters most. And that's why I'm a big proponent of self-love. All right, speaking of which, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a teddy bear or a pillow and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. <laughs>